Hey everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbooking needs and so, so much more. Uh, anything craft related, May has on her website for you to easily snatch up and I hope that you do. Uh, as promised, we are going to finish the final pages for our big book and then we are going to do the inside cover. Uh, inside front cover, inside back cover, and then we are also going to work on putting in the tags and, you know, places where we put black, we, we're going to mat because we're going to have enough. So uh, the first thing that we're going to work on is this little flip that we have here. And you're going to need a piece, you're going to need four of these because we have to cover the front of the flap and the back of the flap on two of them. And we're also going to put a magnet. Um, I just think it will hold it shut. And I think we probably need it as this book is going to expand. Whoa! It wants to go back with its friends. No. <laughs> no, you have to be by yourself for now. Um, so let me first put the magnet in. And then I'll start giving you measurements. And we'll can go from there. Okay, push that down. All right, so like I said, we're going to need four of them, and they need to be five inches wide by five and three quarters high. Okay, and you'll need four. Now, for some reason, I got yeah, more than four. I don't know why, but okay I'm just gonna go with it and see which ones I like okay. let's see here there we go ah working much better when it's unclogged okay up oh, got my tape I should put this one on the inside. I'm going to add more glue to that and put that on the inside so that you can see it because it has some more pictures. Just like that, we already made a mistake. It's okay. It's all good. All good. All right. Now remember, this was a pocket. So I'm going to glue this pocket shut now because I already have the paper inside. So I can glue my pocket shut. I have to hold it there for a little bit. Okay, and then the pocket is gonna need a mat. And the pocket mat is five and three quarters by two and a half and you are going to need two because remember we're doing this on two different pages okay so get this going all right and now we can take this mat and i'm going to re re-glue it some of the glue is still good, but just in case, because it does dry fast, I'm going to re-glue it. Okay. And then we have this long piece over here, and that long piece is six and a half wide by five and three quarters high, and we're going to need two of them. Okay, we're going to need two of them. One for one, one for the other. Now I'm going to work on the fronts of both of these first, and then we'll get to the waterfall. So just hang tight. We're getting it. We'll get there. I love this couple. So romantic. Okay. So there's that. So we got one. Okay, now let's do again another one. Okay, we're going to put our magnets again. 
and we're just repeating the same process that we just did. Because the, the magnet, the waterfall, we have to add a little, we have to add a little something to the waterfall in order for the waterfall to stay together. So I think I'm going to use a strip to do it, but I'm not sure. So we will take it from there. Okay. All right. So, oh no, I have two. I thought I had three for some reason. I think I like that side. Okay. I don't know where my little pick is right now. It's coming together, guys. It's getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> little by little. Little by little, we're getting there. This says December Joy, but you can't really see much of it. I think I like that side better. We have a lot of pockets to fill in this one. That is for sure. Okay. Let's put this one here. And then we'll talk waterfall. Oh boy. We have a lot of pieces of waterfall, that's for sure. Okay. And then this piece. Yep. Put that one on there. Oh. I'm going to take my tape off, and then we'll talk about this waterfall. I felt like I was cutting millions of pieces when I was cutting all the pieces for the waterfall. It was just crazy. There's so many. You need. We needed uh, 10 pieces, so it got a little, a little crazy. Okay. All right, so, okay, the two fronts are done. So now let's talk about the waterfall. The waterfall pa pages are going to be four and a quarter wide. I hate that with my thing. Four and a quarter wide by five and three quarters tall. Okay, so let's start with this one. All right, and I was thinking... We may even need an extra, we may even need two extra pieces of that. We will. So we're going to need more than, uh, more than that. Wow. Okay. I misjudged that. That's okay. I'm going to have some paper. Um, these are going to be too small. I'm just looking at my, uh, Wraps here. I wonder. I wonder if I could use. Use that. No, I don't think so. All right. Too narrow. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see what I have, guys. I just don't want to be chopping into something. Yeah, I don't want to chop into that. This is what I mean about the, the really planning out your papers. So hold on, let me just see what I have. Is that wide enough? I 
and get one out of this. I'm not even using my paper trimmer. Let me count and see how many I have because I thought I had an extra one in here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I do need one more. I'm going to have to grab it out of this. Grab it out of this one, which is fine. All right. So you're going to need 22. I was forgetting that back piece. And I do want that back piece covered. So, so we're good to go now. And I don't know what pile has how many, but we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, so we're going to need something that's going to go here. I, I cut off a one inch strip and I thought if we put it here and then you know, bend it, make it a little bit uh, straighter. Uh, move it a little bit and kind of put it there and then maybe put it here. Cut it there. And we could put a magnet here and on that one. So let me do the same thing to this one. And again, it's kind of guys, no rhyme or reason. So I'm going to just fold that. And, and you want to make sure that you do this before you start matting everything because you want to cover your magnets. Okay. And then I'm going to put a magnet on the top. And then I'm going to put one on this reverse side because I'm going to have it hold the top. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to put some glue on my little flap here. And I'm coming underneath the whole waterfall. I'm going to center this as best as possible. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Okay. And then I'm going to fold my waterfall down. And this piece is going to go up here. And I'm going to push on it. Because now that magnet is going to be there. Okay. And now we can mat these pages and hopefully that magnet is going to be strong enough to hold to hold this in place we'll see we shall see so i'm just going to start grabbing my cards making sure they're oriented the right way And I'm going to start matting each of the pages on both sides. Now, some people do it only on one side. I like both. If I have the paper, I like to do it on both sides. Okay. 
making sure I don't go over the score lines. This is so cool. I love that you have this much space to put pictures if you are a picture kind of person. Um, me personally, no. You guys all know I have a whole bunch of, of scrapbooks that have zero pictures. But that's okay. I, I still don't care. I, um, I still enjoy them. I enjoy the paper. So, and I enjoy making them. And that's what's most important. Maybe someday if I have a grandbaby. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now, Isabel, if you're watching. Um, I will, uh, maybe put pictures then. I do have a few scrapbooks that I did of Belle when she was little, so I do have a few. I'm not going to say I don't have any with pictures. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Just kind of, you know, oh, oh, I like that berry, so something different. Oh, but I'm putting the berries on the other one. Okay. Oh, I do like those polka dots on that side, but too late now, but I do, I do love polka dots. Let me put this one here. That's kind of different. I like that. That's kind of different. This one, and then I gotta grab one from the pile. The other pile. Oh, I do like that. And if you noticed on all of these projects, I didn't do any inking. Um, just wasn't in the mood to be inking. Sometimes I do. I have a lot of projects that I've inked, but this isn't one of them. So let's see. Let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's our pile for the next one. If you don't have this paper, you should have this paper. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I love how it feels. So, okay. It's holding it. It's not holding it crazy good, but it's holding it. That's the most important thing. And now I'm just going to cut a strip. That's three fourths of an inch. Whoa. Oh my gosh, got my magnet stuck to my scissors. Three fourths of an inch. Okay, I'm gonna have to sneak some glue in here. Just to cover this strip. I'll use the other piece just to cover the inside a little bit. You don't have to cover the inside if you don't want, but I like it to all look finished. So 
So there's that. And there's that. Okay, one waterfall down. And we'll probably put a piece of ephemera on here too. Um, okay, next waterfall. So let's, let's go in this way. Let's put our little bracket on there. Where is it? It is. It was easy when all the, uh, when you have all the measurements and you just go, you know, right down. All right, magnet. And then what we'll probably do is we'll put these two pages in and then we'll work on the... Covers. And the inside and outside covers. My husband's going in and out, in and out, so you're going to hear lots of chatter from my talking house. I think it was my friend Pam that said, I like your talking house. <laughs> I do too. All right. So there's that. So now here we go with all these. It was quite the process, isn't it? This book was not for the faint of heart. <laughs> this, book was, this book is uh, got a lot going on. I used a lot of paper. But that's good because I like to use it all up. Save this one for me to in there. See, it comes together pretty quickly when once we have everything all planned out. But to do this page, page one page at a time, the, these kind of projects you have to do how like I'm doing them now. You you have to to have an order and a sequence and you know do do part one, then do part two. That you know what I mean. You you can't you just can't have. A, You have to be really organized, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you have to be very organized. Because if not, you're going to have pages all over the place, and you're not going to know wh what goes where. Um, so... I just like you to know what you're doing. And have it all mapped out. And, you know, I mean, it is a lot of prep work to do it ahead of time for a video because I'm trying to do all the measurements and figure it out first and then cut it all out so that it's really easy for you guys to just write it down and then do it at your own pace because it is time consuming. You know, and it always, it always looks much easier when someone else is doing it. <laughs> and it always looks much faster when someone else is doing it. But just take your time. I mean, this is like a couple of day project. I mean, unless you want to work on it one all day. But I find if I'm working on a project all day, I get very um, anxious because if it's not finished, then I'm, I get myself really worked up. So rather than do that, we split it up and then we take it from there. 
And let's see. What's that? Two more. And then we'll stick these in our room. You can see him a little. Okay, good. Um, we'll take these and put these in our book. Okay. We'll make sure that we cover our strip and then we'll get them in the book. I like getting them in the book because then they're out of the way, they're off my desk, and then I can focus on the next piece. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Won't make that mistake again of taking this off and sticking it on before I had everything in place. This one on the reverse side. Oh, exciting. Get it in the book. All right. Flip that over. That works. Awesome. Okay, so. This is how they're going to go. So we just have to figure out what we want two to be and four to be. And I don't really think it matters. So I think I'll just use this as two. Two. And this is four. How did they end up going? Hmm. Guess what? I ended up gluing mine. I didn't glue it the opposite way. <laughs> so mine are going the same. I told you to glue it. Oh, no, wait. When we open the page, yes, it is opposite. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was. No, it's not opposite. I didn't glue mine the opposite way. I told you to. So yours will be right. Mine won't, but that's quite all right. All right. So let's get our book and let's get the final pages in. So I said, I want this to be for this one. I need my little, ah, here it is. I need my little pick right here, wrong side. Making sure that sticks. Okay. Let's grab this tape. Mm. Get my tape out of here. There we go. Push that down. And this is so beautiful, this book. And then our final one. No, maybe I did do it right. I had to get. Oh my gosh. I did my pages upside down. Oh. Look at that. Did them all upside down. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can salvage any of it. Or else I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing. Let me see if my little, 
Oh my gosh, guys, I did I did have it the right way. <laughs> I just had my my thing wrong. And I don't think undo undoes this. Oh my gosh, I don't believe I did that. So I did do it right. Did do it right after all. Just didn't do my pages right. Well, that's a lesson learned, guys. Some of them are going to be okay. Some of them, no. Because some of them are not directional. you can remove the top layer of the paper without ripping because I'm trying to do without ripping it uh, just ripped it mm. let's see I might still be able to salvage it. No. Uh, just when we thought we were done, we get a curveball. Thank goodness a lot of them are Thank goodness a lot of them are not directional. Wow, that was really good. That was ooh. I should have really paid attention. So now you guys saw my mistake. You know exactly what to do. I should have checked. I didn't check. That was totally on me. Can't blame the paper. So this one's coming off. This one might. Nope. She came off okay. Just a little tiny bit there, but I think it will be okay. Once I add some glue there. Sometimes you can get them. Sometimes you can't. This one I was able to salvage without having to cut another one, so that's good. All right. Didn't think we were doing this today. 
I don't think I would have messed up this much. But I did. Okay. Now that's a little bit um, wrinkly, should I say. But it's my book, so I don't care. If I was giving this as a gift, I, I would not have reused that. But sometimes if you're careful, you can get them out. I don't know. I just got a lot out of this paper. what I have. Mm. <sighs> I have to cut into this one. I'm going to try to cut it near the tags that I really don't care about. Just believe my luck, guys. <laughs> I just don't believe it. I don't believe how dumb. Oh. That was so stupid. Mm, I still got to I still have two more to do. That's going to cut into, oh, it doesn't matter, so, okay, I'll do it that way. This one on top. And then I have one more to do. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, why was I not thinking properly? Oh, how dumb. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself. It's all good. It's all good. Keep telling myself that it's all good. It's all good. Oh. Now I'm just pulling off my card stock here. So dumb. 
this so we wasted some paper all right all right I'm just gonna put that one there kind of like a patchwork almost because I don't want to cut into any more of the back of the paper because I need the tags I need the tags here all right oh what happened to the magnet did i forget the magnet on this one? Oh my gosh guys he was telling me i could sneak a magnet in there completely forgot about the magnet see where this magnet is okay so it's there is that magnetized oh. oh okay that is all right well I'm going to put a lot of glue under here because I'm gluing the magnet in. I, there's just no way I could squeeze in some tape. I don't want to even attempt it after this fiasco. So I'm just gluing the magnet in place under there. Okay. So now it's all going the right way. Is it? Okay, well that was unexpected. <laughs> oh, that's something only I could do. <laughs> Even when you have the best intentions, sometimes you just mess it up. That's just how it goes. Hopefully, my other stuff won't go that way. <laughs> we can only hope. All right, now I'll get this book in. Just making sure, okay. All right, guys, that was a close one. At least we didn't have it in the book. If I had it in the book, oh my gosh, I would have been like ready to cry. There we go. And it gives us something to laugh about when the project is over. Not right now, because I'm not laughing right now. <laughs> I'm not happy right now, but I will be. I will be when it's all done. Okay, come on. Come on, tape. All right. Wow, okay. So you can see this is a really big book, okay? Now we're going to work on inside front cover and the back cover. But you know what I need for that? A corner rounder. And I do have a We Are Memories, Memory Keepers one. I just have to find find it. That's not a corner. I thought I 
how to hmm. where do I put them? Unless I put them down here. Hold on. Whoa. Sorry. Don't want to make you dizzy. What is this? Open. I think this is the one around her. Half an inch. inch. Okay. I think this is the corner rounder. All right. And I just thought of something. We're going to need more paper than I have cut. <laughs> oh. This one will be an easy fix because I have lots of little pieces. So that will be okay. And just cut another piece. You'll see what I mean. I was forgetting that we have a reverse side. Okay. All right. So. Remember how we cut out these six and a quarter by five and seven eighths? And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to use pattern paper instead. So I took a piece of pattern paper and did it the same way. And it's going to go here just like it would normally go. But I'm using pattern paper instead of the craft. Okay. So for this one, we had the envelope that's going to go on the bottom here and we had the top flip so let me get my envelope on and then I'll give you you already have the measurements for these except for the mats so I'll give you the mat measurements in one second oh I should say that <coughs> excuse me off my game now after that. Oh, what a debacle. What a debacle. All right. So let me get my envelope down here. What did I tell you? You're going to hear a lot from them. Now, this might be a little off. No, it's not. Okay, this mat that's going to go on top of here, I believe, is 4x6. Yeah, that's a 4x6, so that's an easy one. So that's going to go on top. Mm, magnets. Don't glue it in yet. We have this piece. Remember I said we're going to glue this under before we glue it into the book. So let me do that. And, oh, I don't want to go over the score line. Okay, and then I want a quarter corner around these edges. I don't want that. That's not going to chomp it. And that won't. Oh, there we go. Actually, I'm going to use the bigger one. Just rounding those, okay? And then you're going to have a mat for the inside and a mat for the outside of this to cover that. 
and those are going to be six by one and three quarters okay and oh, i guess i should round those too i guess i should round those that's going to go like that and the other one i think i'll use this one but i want to put the magnet on the magnet is going to go actually it's really not going to be able to be held by a magnet it's going to have to be held by a ribbon because this is not really enough overflap for a magnet so i can i can glue this in <laughs> yeah it's gonna have to be shut by a ribbon wow would not have thought that i might use this one on the inside and use the other one on the outside Okay, so before we glue this one in, we're going to have to add a ribbon. It's just not long enough of an overflap to put a magnet. But that's okay, because everything's better with a bow. Let me cut my ribbon. And figure out. This is going to be enough. I'm going to tie it and then I'm going to glue it on the back. Yep, that's enough. Okay. And now I think what we should do is I'm going to use some some tape and glue. I just think it will be better. So tape and glue is what we need for this. Now this is some project. <laughs> this became some project, didn't it, guys? And I just realized that I'm going to have to cut two more pieces of paper out. Uh, I'm going to put some glue under the ribbon. And then I'm going to just put glue everywhere. And then let's get our tape off. Probably should have done that first. Is that? that and now we can come into the cover figure out where we would like to place this okay and there we have that now this side again I replaced that Piece, I decided to just use cardstock um, instead and then I we have these two flaps remember one goes on the back one goes on 
and then one goes on the top, one goes on the back. I cut two pieces of paper out, but we're going to actually need two more because we're going to need to cover the insides and we're going to need to put a magnet. So I need to cut two more. So now here is where we have the problem of the paper dwindling. <laughs> Here's where we have a problem. Now we're now we're starting to get into panic mode because I'm having to use some of the tag sheets, and that's making me have anxiety. <laughs> it is. It's making me have anxiety cutting into this paper that I need. Okay, but that's all right. That's not gonna fit. Maybe I want those tags. See, that's probably part of the problem is I want all those tags. What we got going on here? I wonder if I could do... It's going to cut off the... Bicycle a little bit, but I like that it says memories of a snowy day because that's what this paper is. So maybe we'll use it, we'll see. Guys, you see, we just use everything. Memories of a snowy day. I like it. I'm not that upset that the bicycle's cut off because I'll put that on the inside. All right. Let's put this back. Let's get this one organized. Okay. So let's first put glue onto our page. And we have to decide... I think this is how it goes. Okay, so let's put the top on and the bottom on. And I'm doing it, I'm going to line it up so that it doesn't go over the score line because that will be a problem for us. Okay, and I'm going to quarter, corner around these too. All right, so that's the top. I might not corner around, I think I'm just going to corner around the top, not the bottom. All right, and now we're going to add our bottom piece. You already have the measurements for these. You just don't have the measurements for the mats, but I'm going to give them to you, I promise. Sometimes I have to make sure it's really flat in order to see over it. There we go. Okay. So there's that. It's a little crooked, which I don't know why. A little crooked there. I don't know why. I just skim that off a tiny bit. Okay, so now we need a magnet here and here. Get our magnets going. Oh, I can't believe we've been at this for an hour. Oh. Here's one. Let it find itself. Oh, 
find itself again. And then we're going to push that over. Okay. So now for this bottom piece, the measurements for all of these are the same. They are six by four and three quarters. And this one can go down here. So I'm not, I'm not gonna corner around this one. Okay, and then we'll put the snowy day in here. a snowy day all right and then we have these two other pages so let me chomp this it's gonna go on the top this in. That in. Down a little bit more. Put it over. This piece is going to go here and we'll chomp those. And this is going to go here. And then what we're going to do is the same thing we did on the other side. I think that it would be best if we put the tape and then some glue because uh, you know these are going to be these are going to be open and shut a lot, you know. So let's just be cautious with it. Okay, and of course we're going to decorate the front of this, so I'm not so worried that it looks like really bland at this moment. And you can see it buckled; it's buckling a little bit too. So I think the tape will really help stabilize it. So let's do that. And then the next video we'll be adding all our stuff but first I want to cut it out so I'm not here cutting it out while I'm on here with you I think it's boring just watching people cut so and I don't know how to make it speed up how some people do which is so cute I love when they do that but I don't know how to do that so We'll just do a separate video, which is not a problem. Okay. And then put my glue all over. Just to make sure. And then we're going to come to the back here our book and we're going to put it in there you have it okay all right so now look at how chunky that got and now we're going to add all our tags so it's going to even get chunkier so let me clean up my desk hang tight for the next video and then we will um finish this book up and it's going to look so cute once we add all our little everything to it um so 
just hold on tight guys i'll be back and you know what i'm gonna say stay safe be well and god bless you all bye for now